Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can create header and footer section in Elementor website without using Elementor Pro plugin. So if you do not have Elementor Pro plugin, you can install this free Elementor add-on plugin and create header and footer section for your Elementor website. The name of the plugin is Elements Kit. This plugin has free as well as the premium version. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how to install and use the free Elements Kit plugin. I have also installed the premium version of the plugin and I have shown you what is the difference between the free and the premium Elements Kit plugin. If you want to watch that video, I'll give you the link in the description box. Now in this video, we are going to create header and the footer section for your Elementor website using Elements Kit free plugin. Let me show you which plugins I have installed here. If I go to plugins, I have the basic Elementor plugin. This is a free plugin and the Elements Kit Lite plugin. This is also a free plugin. I do have Elements Kit Pro plugin installed. However, for this video, I have deactivated the Pro plugin and we are going to use only the free version of the Elements Kit Lite plugin. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how you can create header and footer using another free header and footer builder plugin. If you want to watch this video, I'll give you the link in the description box. In another video, I have shown you how you can create the header section or the footer section using the Elementor Pro plugin. The Elementor Pro plugin comes with Elementor theme builder feature using which you can create header and footer section for the Elementor website. Now let's go back to the dashboard of the WordPress website and we have the plugin installed. In the left hand panel, you will see Elements Kit and if you move the cursor on it, you will see the option header and footer. Just click on it. Currently, we do not have any header or footer section created. So we are going to start from the scratch. At the top, you will see the button add new, click on it. Now it will ask you whether you want to create header or footer. So select header, just name it as header one, whatever name you want. This will be the header name. And where do you want to apply this header? This will be applied to the entire website. If you want to use this header for a specific page or archive of your website, in that case, you will need the pro version of this plugin. So we are going to apply this header for the entire website. So select entire site. The title is header one and click on save changes. All right, so you will see the header is created here. Now we need to add some widgets in the header. We need to design the header. So click on edit and you will see the option here. Currently it is still not activated, it is deactivated. We will turn it on when we create the header. So click on edit content and it is going to open the Elementor to create the header section. All right, now we are going to design the header. At the top, I'm going to use the three column layout. Let's use this one. And in the left hand column, we are going to add logo. In the middle column, we are going to add the menu and in the right hand side, we are going to add a button. You can customize this header according to your requirement. So in the left hand panel, we are going to add a logo. So click on the plus sign and from the left hand panel, you can add a widget. So I'm going to add image. Currently, I do not have any logo icon. So I'm going to select one of the images from the website. So let's select the image. Here in this place, you can add your own logo. I have added an image here. I'm going to reduce the size. And in the right hand side, we are going to add a button. So click on the plus sign and select button. Drag it and drop it here. Click on the column and let's center align it. And for this button, I'm going to make it justified or stretch it. All right, click on it and go to content. Let's make it call now. So this will be a call button and here you can add your phone number. I'm going to add some dummy number here. All right, so this is a button in the middle section. We are going to add a menu. So click on the plus sign and search for menu. You will see the option. This is not available. This is for the pro version and this is also for the Elementor pro version. So we have got one free navigation menu. I'm going to drag it and drop it here. So using this plugin, you will also get the option to add navigational menu in the header section. Let's select the column and center align it. Let's select the menu. Let's add the menu, select the menu. I have already created one menu that is main menu and it will show the menu here. Now we need to resize it. Let's uh, click on the first column and let's make it 15%. Click on the last column and let's make it 
and the middle column will be let's say 70 percent all right let's click on the menu and let's center align it now you can customize this menu you can change the style settings you can go to style and change the style settings let's increase the size of the menu item all right now if you want to change the background color you can select the entire section and change the background color let's use another background color let's use a blue and let's select the menu again and change the color of the menu item let's make it white all right so this is how it is going to look if you want to add more widgets you can add more widgets so i'm going to keep it as it is let's select this column and i'm going to change the background color of this column let's use the green color and this is how it is going to look all right fine you can customize it according to your requirement okay now let's go to the menu again and content let's go to mobile menu settings if you want to add a different logo for the mobile menu you can select the logo from here and uh, go to style and from here you can change the style settings let's see how does this look on the mobile devices click on the responsive mode and select mobile option this is the logo then we have menu and this is the call button let's click on the menu and for the menu we are going to change the hamburger style this is the hamburger icon and let's make it white and let's change the size also let's change the background color you can change the position from here if you want to change this icon with any image you can add the image from here this is for the border if you want to border around this icon you can use it default type is there hamburger icon color this is the hover settings now if i click on it you will see this this is how the menu will work on the mobile devices all right so you can customize these settings and we are going to apply this one so i'm going to close this one and this is the header that we have created this is a pretty basic header that i have created but you can use your creativity and change the style settings all right so i'm going to click on update and let's go back exit from here and let's go to elements kit header and footer and it is still deactivated so let's click on edit and activate it and click on save changes all right you will see it is activated let's go to the website and visit the website and you will see that new header is there okay so currently it is active and that's why it shows this color we can customize it and this is the call button if someone clicks on it it will dial the number from the mobile devices i do not have logo so i have used this image let's go back and click on add new now we are going to create footer so select the title will be let's say footer one and from the drop down select footer and this will be applied to the entire website and click on save changes let's go back edit it and click on edit content still it is deactivated click on edit content and now we are going to customize the footer section all right so click on the plus sign let's select one of the layout here i'm going to select uh, this layout let's change the background color let's make it black color in the first column i'm going to add the name of the website let's say this is the name this is the name of the website this is just a demo name i'm going to add some padding here okay in the second column i'm going to add another heading and let's say contact details or let's say contact only let's make it h3 and you can change the size and the color settings here if you want to add some details about your website you can add some information and under contact you can add contact details let's use icon list drag it and drop it here and uh, for the first one i'm going to add phone number so select the phone icon let's add the number here and for the second one i'm going to add envelope that is the email address and for the third one you can add let's say map or the address of your business we have got this icon list here click on the style settings let's add some spacing 
and go to the icon change the icon color let's leave it as it is this one looks good i'm going to change the size let's make it 25 and uh, again change the spacing to 20. let's go to text change the text size to 19 and change the color of the text to white all right so this one looks good in the third column you can add menu or any other widget that you want so i'm going to add let's say quick links that will go to your menu so i'm going to add menu here again i'm going to use the same menu that is the elements kit select the main menu and it is going to be at the center hover line arrow so you can keep the same settings there you can change the color whichever widget you want to add in this column you can add that if you want to add gallery you can also add gallery if you want to add post you can also add post let's use post is instead of menu i'm going to add post currently we do not have any post here but you can add them let's search for post and uh, you will see block post here so i'm going to drag it and drop it here so we have only one post here so it's going to show only one post and it will be block or you want it grid layout let's make it grid layout and let's make it two columns let's change the width of this column all right so this is how it's going to look now you can customize it you can change the background color you can show the post in grid layout or you can show the post in thumbnails how many posts you want to show you can select that one also post count will be three so it's going to show three count three block posts here you can make it two so it will be showing only two and if you do not want to show let's say content you can simply disable it from here and uh, if you do not want the read more you can do that also so it is going to show only the title of the post and if there is a featured image it is going to show the featured image also so you can add whichever widget you want in the footer section let's add one more section here and in this section i'm going to change the background color let's add copyright text customize the typography you can change it to normal all right so this is how it is going to look right so i'm going to update it and let's exit from here let's go back to elements kit header footer go to edit and activate it save the changes close it let's go back to the website and let's refresh it currently we do not have any footer here so i'm going to refresh it let's go down and you will see the newly added footer is there so here we have used the free elements kit plugin to create the footer section of your elementor website you can also use another free header and footer builder plugin but you can use that plugin to create only the header and footer section of the elementor website however if you install the elements kit light plugin or the pro plugin you will be able to use other widgets that are available in this elementor add-on plugin so apart from creating header and footer section on your elementor website you will get access to many other advanced widget in the elements kit plugin and if you install the elements kit pro plugin then you will be able to customize the header if you want to create multiple headers and footers you can do that also so for a particular section of your website you can use different header and for another section on your website you can use another header and footer so this is the advantage of using elements kit plugin to create header and footer section if you want to watch other videos i'll give you the links in the description box and if you want to buy the elements kit pro plugin i'll give you the link in the description box you can use my link so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video Thanks for watching Quick Tips.